So let's say you want to make a photo collage. There are various different ways to do it. There's some basic functionality in photos. You can use a graphics app like Photoshop to do it or something like that. You can use a custom collage app. But you actually have a great app for making collages. It's called Keynote. It's the presentation app that you use. But you don't have to make a presentation with it. You can use it to make a single slide that's a collage of photos. And since you have all these great graphics tools you can make really interesting collages with it and you can do it very quickly. So here I have photos open and I have some photos that I'm going to want to put into a collage. I also have Keynote here. So let's create a new document in Keynote. Now this is something I may want to print so I want to have a white background. I'm going to just Choose standard white background right now and go into it and get rid of these two pieces of text here. I just want a clean slate. Now I want to set the document to be the right number of pixels. Just like if you were creating something in Photoshop you wouldn't want to create something small and then shrink a bunch of images into it. You want to make sure it's something pretty big. So I want to go to Document and then there's Slide Size and I can set it to Custom Slide Size. And here's where I want to maybe think about what I'm doing. If I'm printing to ADF by 11, say at 300 dpi, so I'll use Spotlight here. Uh, so 8.5 times uh, 300, that's 2550. And 11, of course, is 3300. So we'll do 3300, 2550. So now we've got something that's about the size of an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. You probably want to account for margins too, but you can go into those details and uh, depending upon the printer and whether you go edge to edge and that kind of thing. Now we have a canvas and we've got photos over here. This is a great time to use split screen. I'm going to click and hold the green button there until I get split screen mode and I can decide if I want Keynote to be on the right or the left. So I will put it here on the left and then I will click to choose photos here on the right. Now I'm going to under zoom make sure I go to fit slide so I actually see this the whole slide filling the screen here. It goes edge to edge. I don't need this on the left side here so I'm going to drag the line over there so now I have a maximum amount of space here and I can start bringing in photos. So I'm going to bring in this panorama here. Drag that in. It's going to size itself to be the exact width of this so I can easily drop it now to the bottom and uh, Keynote's snapping feature works great here. It just snaps right there. Now let's go and bring another photo in. I'll drag this one in. It's going to snap to the width as well which is going to make it huge. So I'm just going to grab a corner here and shrink it down. And I actually want to put it here in the upper right hand corner. It will snap to there and I can drag this corner down and it will snap to that. Very nice. Easy to do with the snapping. Let's go in here and I'll grab another image and I'll stick it over here. And this one I'm going to have to resize as well. So I will drag this down. Let's snap it to the top left corner there. We could snap it in place, but I don't I want it to actually fill the space here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go arrange, send it back. Now it's behind these two, even though it's the last one I brought in. And I can kind of position it here to get it like I want. So that's perfect. It's exactly what I want and I could be done here. Let's add some more though. I could do borders. I could uh, select a photo for instance. I could select all of these, shift select, and then I could do a format and I could say let's do a line border. Let's make it white and make it a little big six point there, maybe 20 point. Now you can see it, but I don't like the white around the top and the bottom and the sides. So I'm actually not going to do that. I'm going to do Command C to undo that. That's undoing the, the changes here. You get all the way back to where there's no border. Well, instead I'm going to add a line. And you don't see the shape tool here at the top because there's not enough space. But if I click here I can get to all the tools. So I'll select line. There's a little line that appears there. Um, let's change it to a bigger line. So a 30 point maybe. And make it white. And now snapping will work really great again. I can close this. And I could snap it to this point right here. Instead of doing it again I'm going to copy Command C and Command V to paste. And then I have a new line where I could drag the edges. And let's put it like that. That's much better. That's what I wanted. Something like that. So now I have a beautiful collage there. I can add text to it. And I can put the text here and I can make the text white so it's nice over the background. Uh, maybe I could even you know, move this image up here. So if I grab this and maybe I grab this line here as well, I'll shift click to select uh, both of those. 
You can move it up a little bit to create some room for that text. Let me arrange and move both of those, the line and the photo, to the front right there. Now I have this room for text. I can use arrow keys to position the, the this perfectly. Anything you want to position perfectly you can just use arrow keys to do it one pixel at a time. And now I can you know type text here. And now when I have something I like after I've worked with this, there's so many other things you could do. You, you could do shapes, you could do uh, quote bubbles, you know, and do funny quote bubbles if uh, somebody is talking in one of the photos, that kind of thing. So many other things. All the tools are open to you uh, in Keynote for creating cool things in your collages. But in this case, I just want to go and export it here. So I'm going to go to File and I'm going to Export to an Image. And I get some options here. I only have one slide, so all or from one to one doesn't really make any difference. And I'm going to do it JPEG high quality, PNG for lossless quality. If I want, maybe from sending to a print service and I want it to be really good. But JPEG high quality is going to be good for just about everything you do. Do next. Um, let's save it to the desktop. And I'll export it. And now we can quit out of the full screen view here. So I will. Uh, Quit out a full screen view. Let me hide the uh, Keynote app there. There's a folder. Why is it a folder? Well, because Keynote, when you export images, it's used to exporting like a series of images for each slide. So even though there's just one, it's just going to stick it in there. So you can pull it out of that folder and get rid of the folder. But I do have this nice high quality image uh, since I made it, you know, so, so many pixels across. Uh, that's my collage. Bring that back again. There you go. And uh, you now I can you know upload that to Facebook or print it or send it to a printing service, all that uh, kind of stuff. Anything you do, and you see how much faster it was to create this than say using a image editing tool.